Hey, good morning everyone. It's Jay with Journey Vision and I am out here in Prescott, Arizona. It's going to be my last day in Prescott. I've been here for two weeks uh, helping my friend Dace with his van build. I hope you got to check out that video. But I wanted to show you this neat little campsite that I decided to stay at before leaving town. I'm off uh, Thumb Butte Road and it's just this beautiful forest campsite. Got some neighbors back here, a little transit connect and a bunch of neat little granite boulders and such surrounding my spot so it's been great down here it's time for me to head north i'm going to be going to flagstaff today to get some resupplies and then after that it's off to canyonland country so all right the journey continues some good water. It was worth the stop. Oh, good morning guys. I am in Flagstaff, Arizona. I made it to Flagstaff last night. Um, got into town, got a few resupplies, and found a little OHV area just on the north side of Flagstaff uh, off 86 on my way to Page. Uh, I got a little surprise last night. My diesel heater stopped working. So so here's where I ended up in Flagstaff. This is the Cinder Hills OHV area. And uh, looks like a, either, either a national forest or BLM area that you can certainly camp on for free. It uh, It's really cold right now. It doesn't look like it, but it's probably about 35 degrees and really windy. I need to get to a warmer climate so I can take a look at my heater and see what's going on so I don't freeze my butt off. Huh, so it looks like my heater's starting up. I looked at the fuel line, I looked at the fuel filter, it all looked clean. Maybe it was the high elevation I was camping at last night, but we're gonna start the sucker up and see what it does, but it's smoking a little bit. Yeah, I don't like that smoke. So it looks like it stopped smoking. It's burning really clean. So I'm gonna run it on full blast for about 30 minutes and just clean out that chamber. And man, let's just hope we're back in business and I don't have to do anything with this heater. I'm about 20 miles from Page. You can see the Vermilion Cliffs out there. They're absolutely beautiful. I've been dreaming about those cliffs since I last saw them in April of 2018 when me and Odie were out here last time. Absolutely beautiful. That is the start of the Grand Canyon. Alright, so Horseshoe Bend was a success. It did cost $10 to get in. It was very touristy and there was a 
but did I get great pictures and videos? Absolutely, and I definitely would recommend this place just for a quick stop to pay. Hey, good morning. I am in Page, Arizona, making a little breakfast. I uh, got in here yesterday afternoon. The drive was incredible. I had such a fun time driving from Flagstaff to here. The weather was better yesterday, but today we're getting uh, a day full of rain. So um, let me just show you. I'll pop my door open here and show you outside. So this is where I camped at last night. It's just off the side of the road, but down there is the Colorado River. Um, so it's really pretty, not the most uh, accommodating spot, but good for a night. I'm probably going to stay at the Walmart tonight. Uh, I have my cast iron skillet. This is a vintage cast iron skillet. I love this thing. It's over 50 years old, and I pretty much cook all my meals in this one pan. Alright, so we are driving over the Glen Canyon Dam, or at least the bridge next to Glen Canyon Dam. Good morning. I am just having some coffee this morning and getting my day started. I have left Page, Arizona and I'm now in Utah. So I've crossed the border. I had a time zone change, which was actually a big shock. I got to say, I love Arizona. And when it comes to their time zone policy, it's incredible. Why can't the rest of the world adopt no daylight savings time? I cannot wait to show you where I'm camped right now. So one of the coolest things about this lifestyle is a lot of times when I leave and I'm moving to another camp spot, I really don't know where I'm going to end up. And that's part of the fun. I'm really good at finding camp spots. I have good intuition. And this place is just amazing. It's a whole other planet. So let me show you where I'm at. like I'm on a whole nother planet. This place is incredible. It's a little bit cloudy today. There's some bad weather coming in. But just look where I ended up. It's amazing. So this looks like a good spot to take a rest. I'm not going to make it to Lake Powell. It's starting to look like some rain clouds are moving in. So I'm going to turn around and get out of here. But it's been really fun and really beautiful. Uh, today, my friend Joe, uh, an adventure buddy of mine, he's having open heart surgery. So I've been really thinking a lot about him. Um, just sending him all my good vibes. And this hike goes out to my friend Joe. So that was a really fun hike. Uh, that was Wiregrass Canyon, which is just outside of Page, Arizona, actually in Utah, just right 
as you cross the border. I ended up hiking about seven miles. The weather was getting bad. Maybe you can hear just how windy it's getting outside. So I'm just gonna take a couple days and chill out and relax. It's been a really busy past few days of traveling. I've really gotten to enjoy taking the back roads and taking the scenic routes across our beautiful country. Uh, so with that, I'm actually gonna wrap up the video. I've had a lot of fun making this one. The travel videos are absolutely my favorite. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment. Let me know what you like or didn't like. Um, I always like hearing from my viewers and it just makes a lot of fun to interact with everybody. And I'll see you next time and let the journey continue.